Hi everyone, it's Miss Laura. Welcome to Sunday School. This is the lesson for April 18th, Peter and John. Now, this is the third Sunday of the Easter season. Like I said last week, we spent 40 days observing Lent, and now there are 50 days of celebrating Jesus' resurrection. And we have a new memory verse. This is from Romans 12, 10. Love each other, outdo yourselves in honoring one another. Outdo yourselves, that means going above and beyond. For example, you could paint a picture for someone, you could do an extra chore to help out your grown-up, or you could use words to tell someone how much you appreciate or love them. You could even sing them a song. So what is one way you can think of this week to go above and beyond in showing love or respect for someone in your life? Hmm, think about that. Now we're going to say our call to worship together. Remember, we're using a psalm from the Bible, Psalm 100. You can listen along and follow along with the words on the screen. And the words are also below in the video description. After a while, you might even start to learn it yourself. Ready? Everything and everyone, let's make a joyful noise to the Lord. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. The Lord is God. He made us and we belong to him. We are his people. We are like sheep that he cares for. Come into his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. Tell others the good things about God because the Lord is good. His love goes on and on and he sticks with us forever. Now for our Bible story. It's called Peter and John from Acts 3 verses 1 through 10. One day after Jesus had come back to life and ascended to heaven, Peter and John, two of Jesus' disciples, were going to the special time of prayer at the temple, which was the special place of worship for Jewish people. It was three o'clock in the afternoon. Now, some people were carrying in a man who had never been able to walk. Every day, people would carry this man and lay him at one of the temple gates, which was called the beautiful gate. And while he sat there, he would ask for money from the people passing by. When this man saw Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked them for money. Peter said to the man, I don't have any silver or gold. I don't have any money to give you, but what I do have, I will give to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, stand up and walk. Peter took the man by the hand and helped him stand up. Suddenly his feet and ankles were strong. Jumping up, the man stood up and began to walk. And he went into the temple with Peter and John, walking and leaping and praising God. All the people who were there saw him walking around and praising God, and they recognized him as the man who used to sit and ask for money at the beautiful gate because he couldn't walk. All the people were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to this man. Now, I don't know if you've ever heard that story before. It might be a new one for you. But because the man couldn't walk, he was not able to work and earn money. If he didn't ask people for money, he wouldn't have been able to buy food. He depended on the people who happened to walk by him every day. How do you think this man's life changed after he became able to walk? Hmm. Peter said, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, stand up and walk. What do you think in the name of Jesus means? What does it mean when somebody does something in the name of Jesus? Something to think about there. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 42, Jesus said, give to everyone who begs from you or asks from you. If Peter had had money with him, do you think he would have shared it with the man? Hmm. Why or why not? What would you do if someone in need asked you for money? Some things to think about there. Thank you for joining me today. If you'd like to be added to the email list or send a prayer request, the link is below for the Family Ministries Google form. And I hope you have a wonderful Easter season. Let's close with our closing blessing from Sunday School. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen.